computers. I'm a senior at Farragut High School. For my film studies class, I had to do a report on war movies. I decided that the best way to gather information for my topic would be to interview the actual directors who directed these movies to gain information about what they thought was important about these movies and how they influenced our society in the United States today. For my first interview, I decided to interview D.W. Griffith, filmer of Birth of a Nation. Mr. Griffith, how did Birth of a Nation innovate within the industry? My film, Birth of a Nation, had a great impact on this industry because I was the first person to ever make a war movie. Also, this film used hundreds of extras and used mock battle scenes also for the first time ever in history. Mr. Griffith, how would you describe the impact of your movie, Birth of a Nation, on American society? The impact on society of my movie was that it divided the American people, sparked a revival of the great Ku Klux Klan, and also used propaganda as history. My second guest was John Ford, who directed many a patriotic World War II movie. Mr. Ford, where did you gain your war film experience? Well, uh, I gained several years of war making or filmmaking experiences in Hollywood a couple years before the Great War defending this wonderful country. I filmed it. <coughs> D-Day and I also served on some aircraft carriers where I was injured in the line of duty right here. Thank you, Mr. Ford. Now, I'd like to ask you, what do you think about your movies as special, and how have they affected the American people? My movies are special, I think, because I used actual war footage from the World War II. People actually died to get some of that footage there. Also, the influence on my movies, um, the influence of movies on society of mine, young boys who saw my movies joined the armed forces. My final interviewee was Roland Joffe, director of The Killing Fields. So, Mr. Joffe, what did you want this film, The Killing Fields, to show the American people. Rolling. All right, man. All right, I think that the fact that I wanted this movie to have was like to show how the Cambodian people were mistreated and bombed by the American government, like innocent civilians being bombed by the American government, and also gain support for the refugees, because that's just not right, bombing them and not supporting the refugee camps. Roland, if I can call you Roland, do you think this film had its desired effect on the American people? You know, that's a tough one. Yes and no. Because! Because, yes, because we did raise awareness about the corrupt communist Cambodian government but no, because there are still refugees throughout the world today. And that's refugees bad. Thanks, Roland. That's about all we have for today. Let's wrap it up. Dirk, I just had the weirdest dream. That's too bad, because I really wish you could have helped work with me tonight. I spent a long time working on a project for film studies. In fact, I interviewed three famous directors about their role in influencing war movies in America. You don't say. Well, anyways, I talked to D.W. Griffith. Well, this man practically invented the war movie. But he also inspired bigotry and hatred through his movie, Birth of a Nation. Oh, well. Then I talked to John Ford. This man documented World War II, gaining experience at D-Day and on an aircraft carrier. He also inspired many young men to join the armed forces through his patriotic war films. This is true. Finally, I talked to Roland Joffe, contemporary director. His film, The Killing Fields, had a great impact by bringing about awareness to the Khmer Rouge and refugees. That's right. Well, I think that's about all the time we have right now. Until next time. <laughs> I hope that recorded. <laughs>
<laughs> Me too. Dude, still recording. War movies in America, their history, and influence.